what's up everybody it's your girl Matt Gibbons if you all are new to my channel and honestly y'all it's like three in the morning right now I was literally just about to go to sleep but I couldn't sleep because I literally my mind is racing right now and it's not racing with bad thoughts but I just have a lot on my mind so basically I'm just going to jump right into this video I wanted to make this video before I turned 21 and I have honestly just been procrastinating on making this video I have my Invisalign in so I apologize if I have a list but I'm actually going to upload the video of me getting my Invisalign afterwards so that blog will be up after this video basically I just literally have had a lot of things on my mind I will be 21 on September 12th so I'm very very excited um, to be 21 I feel like this chapter in my life is just completely different it's something new I feel like me myself like I've just grown a lot over these years I've learned a lot about myself I've changed a lot I've closed a lot of relationships and I've opened a lot of relationships I've met a lot of new people and lately I want to say maybe like the past couple of months like the, just honestly this summer I want to say this past summer um, summer 2019 I just did a lot of self-reflection and I kind of realized what I wanted and what I did not want in my life and I had a lot of people from my past come back up you know what I'm saying that had been cut off and I just realized that a lot of relationships that I don't even want to fix I don't want to mend I don't want them back I don't want to um you know i'm just i'm done over exerting myself for others i i'm completely done and basically i'm making this video one to document where i'm at in life right now um for myself and two to encourage others who are 21 or younger than 21 to basically just do what's best for you and always fight for what you believe in and follow your dreams and don't let anybody discourage you from doing what you know is right for you and to always listen to your intuition don't let people take advantage of you don't wait for anybody don't rely on others rely on yourself that's just the reality of life and you know don't trust everybody be careful with who you trust and i'm not saying be some sad depressed lonely person that doesn't trust anybody i'm just saying be careful be cautious guard your heart guard your mind guard your soul body spirit take care of yourself take care of your health walk exercise get your mental together read a book exercise your brain don't just sit and scroll through social media all day don't be mad at your ex for moving on and getting with somebody else and you're sitting watching their every move on social media like get over it just move on because honestly you'll never move on and even whatever relationship you get into afterwards you're not going to be able to really appreciate that person treating you good because you're still still hung up over somebody else that's not even worried about you basically i just want to put a lot of things in the air as far as life in general and i feel like for myself the reason why i'm actually forcing myself to make this video is because i procrastinate a lot and that's just always been my problem uh, sometimes i do blame others but that's something i've really been working on for the last three years of my life is just total accountability of my life and my actions and if I don't see results in my life then the only person I can blame is myself for where I'm at and for my lack of consistency and my lack of dedication to myself I can't be mad at anybody else but myself for my results and that's something that I've always stayed true about I never wanted to be a hypocrite that I don't know why but growing up like that was the worst thing I felt like you could ever be was a hypocrite like I just never wanted anybody to call me a hypocrite which is why I had to make a lot of changes in my life because you all know like I'm very passionate about like motivational speaking and just basically helping others find their self-love within themselves so they can truly fulfill their passions in life and I knew that in order to do that that I would fully have to take accountability for myself and I would have to be 100% wholeheartedly honest with myself and with you all and I could not be a hypocrite so if I'm telling you guys to cut off negative people then I have to do that too if I'm saying you know don't still be hung up over your ex then I have to do that too so I have done that and I have made those changes recently in my life where I had to cut off people who I was very, very close to and, you know, who will always have a role in my life with being in my heart. 
and me never forgetting them because I feel like in life, like, I believe Nipsey Hussle, I don't know if it was Nipsey Hussle or, yeah, I believe Nipsey Hussle did say this because Lauren Leonard had um, requoted it, but basically, like, in life, you get to experience people. Basically, like, if I had the opportunity to experience a friendship with somebody, that's all I can you know do and take from that is the experience and i don't have to bring the baggage or bring the negativity or even the good you know what i'm saying i can only take what i want with me i don't know if that makes sense but basically like whatever situation you're in with somebody you choose and pick how you feel about that situation nobody else should determine or make you feel some type of way that's why you have to be secure within yourself you have to be so disciplined within yourself that you will never ever let anybody else affect the way you feel Never let anybody affect the way you feel, whether it be happy, mad, sad, angry, whatever it is, always control your emotions. Because your emotions, if you do not control your emotions, you could really ruin your life. I know people that act out of a, emotions or they act in, you know, impulse and they do stuff hastily without thinking it through. And, you know, you do stuff because you're mad at somebody or you do something because you're happy and you making choices that will affect the rest of your life. So really just think through everything. Don't be afraid of your own success. I feel like sometimes I'm afraid of the person that I know I have the potential of being because it's kind of like, well, if I become that person or when I become that person, then who is going to be with me and what is the life that I'll live? And if I'm living that life, then that means that the life I have now will no longer exist and it'll just be completely different. And in all honesty, I like the life that I live now, but I don't know if I like the life that I live now because I've just grown to be comfortable with it or because I genuinely like it. And I think it's more so of a comfortability thing because right now I'm just in a position where I have the flexibility and freedom to do whatever I want but as far as long-term results I know I'm not going to be at the place where I want to be in life if I continue making the same choices that I'm doing today and that's just the reality of it which is why again I'm making this video as more so of a start for myself to stop procrastinating stop waiting stop thinking and just do in regards to overthinking and stuff like that it's good to you know think things through in life but to also not be afraid to just go for things and just wing it and see what could happen because you honestly never know like i know with me like y'all like <laughs> when i dropped out of school and just chose to live life i could not tell you that i would be where i'm at today i definitely didn't think that the things in my life that had happened would have happened the way they have especially when it came to losing friends like i lost friends that i was close to since middle school um and then it and stuff like that that for me y'all like i wish that others could understand what it's like to be somebody else i feel like if other people were able to stand in the shoes of others they would be more appreciative of their own lives it's a lot of people that are going through things worse than you and you know just living just terribly you know what i'm saying like i would never ever ever feel unappreciative be unappreciative of the life i have or you know be mad or upset about anything like i'm happy to be alive i'm happy to have two eyes i'm happy to have two ears like it's stuff like that that people take for granted and not even realize like everybody doesn't even have that luxury you know what i'm saying like having two eyes really is a luxury like you know what i'm saying like even the fact that you can see in color like you know what i'm saying it's people that can't see in color and they have to adapt and live a totally different life than you and in life everything is about perception and it's about perspective i don't expect everybody to agree with me like you know what i'm saying i would be crazy to think i'm not going to get some dislikes on my videos we're not all the same like it would be weird if we were all the same and if everybody liked me like i just like different types of people i've always liked different types of people and i know this video is probably like everywhere because i don't even know what i'm like just i'm speaking just i'm just speaking but I've just grown to accept a lot of different types of people. I feel like sometimes with me being a Virgo, you know, and being such a perfectionist that I want things a certain way and I, I want people to do things a certain way and I want them to act a certain way when I just have to accept people for who they are, you know what I'm saying? And that's why when it came to the relationships I had with people, it's like, you know, in my head, I wanted them to do this, that, and the third, and I'm like, you know, they have so much potential and they can do this, that, and the third, but if a person doesn't want to do that, or if a person has a different, you know, plan for themselves, like, you cannot determine what somebody else's future is like, and you can't make somebody do things or not do things, and even when it comes to relationships, and when I say relationships, I don't mean just with your significant other, I mean a friendship, a 
relationship with your parent like you have to be willing to actually take the time to understand that individual and not just give up when times are rough or times are hard or um they're going through their own things like you really have to take the time to actually get to know somebody and understand why they're hurting and the depths about why they're hurting and not just the surface level what they tell you and so sometimes you know depending on the relationship some people are more open and some people aren't even with your parents you know i know as kids you grow up thinking well you know your parents are superheroes but your parents are human beings they go through things too like you know what i'm saying like parents go through things they have bad days you know what i'm saying they get disappointed they get you know they have friendship issues too like everybody is a human being everybody goes through things everybody has emotions everybody feels things and that's why i feel like i just wish that people were more accepting of others and you know others feelings and stuff like that even with myself i know a lot of times sometimes people comment negative things on my videos and it's like a part of me like when I first see it I'll be wanting to clap back you know what I'm saying and say some crazy stuff but at the same time it's like how do I clap back at somebody who literally has enough free time to say something negative about somebody they don't know like obviously like you know what I'm saying their life is just it's kind of like womp womp you know what I'm saying like if that's what you do on a day-to-day -day basis is waste your time you know focus on what other people are doing and I know even with myself like it's definitely I definitely got haters like that just is what it is like I remember I had uploaded a video like as soon as I uploaded like less than like five seconds it already had a dislike so I'm like how could I possibly get a dislike and you didn't even watch the video like so I know some people that you know they intentionally do things to try to sabotage you when in reality they're sabotaging themselves all that time you spend worrying about somebody else's emotions and trying to hurt them you're hurting yourself you don't even know yourself like you don't know yourself you obviously don't love yourself you know what I'm saying and it's hurtful for me that I know that other people are going through things and they have to express it in such a negative way because I know it's hard for me to be able to help them like but and I want to like you know what I'm saying I want to help everybody that's why when I see negative stuff I always put a positive spin or I, I just don't say anything at all like sometimes you know I might but it's it's rare because people people are going through things everybody has their own issues you know what I'm saying everybody's dealing with life everybody's dealing with financial things family things friendships anything in life everybody has to deal with you know at the end of the day we are all human beings like we're all human everybody just wants to be happy everybody you know has to deal with the psychological effects of being alive and just you know things being bombarded and thrown at you on a day-to-day -day basis especially with you know social media and things like that and even with social media that differentiates from country to country like which is the thing I love about YouTube because it's so crazy how different people are in different countries and it just allows you to see different cultures and what things are normal one place are just totally odd another place you know what I'm saying are just different and you know in life there's just so much to life than just this like y'all whatever city you live in don't think about just where you're at think about the entire world like there's so much to life more than your small town your city your group of friends that you don't like your parents that you can't stand you know what i'm saying the school that you hate all these kids bullying you there's way to there's way more to life like do not get hung up about nothing little little like that or anything small like that like trust me like even though it might seem big right now like it's not and a lot of times i know i have a um a lot of people that are in high school still and a lot of people that aren't but if y'all are still in school like and if you're getting bullied or people are picking on you like don't worry about them don't listen to them like a lot of them people are hurt them kids are hurt and their parents are hurt <laughs> like you know what i'm saying their parents hurt so the kids hurt you know what i'm saying like or a lot of people don't know how to express what's going on at home you know what i'm saying a lot of people might have deeper issues at home that they're dealing with so yeah when they come to school they might be the bully because that's how they're able to express sometimes they might be going home and getting beat so of course they're coming to school and doing the same thing because they're not able to basically express themselves at home so they use school as a place to express themselves and you know it's all different types of depths when it comes to people and emotions and feelings and why people do the things that they do but at the end of the day you just have to do what's right for you follow your dreams follow your intuition and the reason i say this is because i'm making a really big change in my life i am not 
giving myself up my time my energy or anything like that to others anymore who are not serving me i'm done overexerting myself trying to mend relationships and make stuff work with people that aren't even meeting me halfway like it's just time for me to be selfish and totally take responsibility for me and my life and for my business and just do what's right for me if i want to be somewhere in life and I, if i want to accomplish things then i need to do that ain't nobody gonna accomplish stuff for me but me ain't nobody gonna put a million dollars in my bank account but me so I'm going to do that for me and that just is what it is and you know I say all this because recently let me just give y'all a little um story basically I had a company reach out to me for a deal a brand deal I guess you could say and I it, I had to sign a contract and everything like that the thing about it was I ended up missing the email I don't know it, I missed the email so they they reached back out to me because there was a deadline set saying like hey this is urgent like you know and so i saw the urgent email i'm like oh crap so i jumped on it i let them know like yeah like we're good to go this that and the third and so they sent me the agreement you know and i looked through everything filled it out whatever and so i called my team i guess you could say and um i asked for their opinion on one thing and they told me this that and the third so because I've always been open to the help from others, you know, I open the floor, whatever. Long story short, um, I sent it off to my lawyer. I did, I just did a lot of things like regarding this agreement. And basically I spent so much time listening to everybody else's opinion when I already knew what I was doing right in the first place that I basically almost missed out on my opportunity. I can't say whether I did or not, but I basically almost missed out on my opportunity because I was so hung up about everybody else's opinions when I knew what I had to do for myself initially. And that's why I'm making this video because I'm just done doing that. I'm done second guessing myself because other people can't see my vision. Like that's not my problem. You know what I'm saying? Like people didn't think that my YouTube would do what it's doing and what it's doing now. You know what I'm saying? But those are the same people that are all like, Hey, oh my goodness, congratulations. Like, but nobody said congratulations when I had five followers or subscribers, you know what I'm saying? They say congratulations when you got 10,000, but nobody tells you congratulations when you got five or 10 or 20. So like I peep everything as far as people and how they move and their actions and you know, everything. And I'm just so, so ready to just finally do what I need to do. And I'm just ready to do that y'all and that's what I'm going to do and this is the start of it so this is just the beginning of my journey and I want to keep documenting my journey and just keep documenting my life videos like this to help you guys and so that I can also look back at it for myself my kids could look back at it like I just love the whole idea of that that's why I love YouTube so much but I just think that this is something that's good for me because I'm able to get my thoughts out I'm able to express myself and you know like with me having anxiety and everything y'all like my mind is always constantly racing so i want to be more open but i think so much that i don't even make videos about it or i don't do anything because maybe my hair is not looking right or maybe my outfit isn't you know what i'm saying but that's why i'm just like you know what maddie just do what you need to do girl if you need to talk talk you know what i'm saying like get off what's on your mind you can make as many videos as you want to this is your life stop overthinking stop trying to be a perfectionist it is what it is if my hair look a mess my hair look a mess my nails aren't done my nails aren't done you know what i'm saying i got my invisalign and i got a lisp i got a lisp like it is what it is this is my reality this is my truth this is me this is who i am right now if you see me if you see me on the street you're gonna see me on the street and i'm gonna look like this and i'm gonna have these in my mouth so i'm gonna be sounding the same so i need to come on here with the same energy like i just don't see the point in being one way here and then another way in reality or real life like this is my life this is the life i chose for myself so it is what it is and i'm just ready to be more transparent with myself be more transparent with y'all i want to teach you guys how to build self-love self-confidence within yourself um so that you guys can also accomplish your dreams and get out of whatever negative situation you're in or you know just be done with them friends that aren't serving you or be done with that ex finally that you keep going back and forth with for the past 10 years like i'm just trying to help y'all because i'm trying to help myself so you know i know for a fact that i've been through all the crazy things i've been through in my life so that i can tell my story so that i can help others so i need to do that and it makes me feel good doing that so 
I, you know, y'all know how much I love y'all, how much I appreciate y'all. I thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. This is only the beginning. Like, this really is only the beginning. Keep being original, y'all. Keep being you. I promise, like, it's going to pay off. Never forget who you are. Keep loving yourself. Keep being cool, okay? Keep being you, like, for real. Do you. Like, I don't care what anybody says. Like, y'all, for real. Like, I wear pajamas out in public, you know? Because I just like to. And it just is what it is. So, I've just always been that way. I've been that way literally since middle school. Like, I've always worn pajamas to school. I still wear pajamas out in public. That's just me. Like, I can't help it. Like, I got pajama pants on right now. Like, well, it is like 3 in the morning. But y'all know what I'm saying. Like, so just do you. And, you know, it's a lot of people that, like, actually congratulate me for wearing pajama pants. And I think that's because they know that they don't have the confidence in themselves to do that. So be confident in you and what you're doing because a lot of people are actually going to appreciate it. Although you might think that people are looking at you because you're crazy, they're looking at you because they appreciate how unique you are and how awesome you are that you can be yourself. And a lot of people that aren't themselves and they don't know how to be themselves, they don't know what to say but negative things like, oh, Oh, that's ugly that's stupid when in reality they don't even have the confidence to do that themselves so just keep being you keep being original stay true to being you i love you guys so much i really do appreciate y'all this is really only the beginning of my youtube journey so i'm super excited to have you guys here with me hopefully these videos help you guys out i know this video was really scattered like i really just had a lot on my mind so you know hopefully it made sense i hope but um i will have some more like in-depth detailed like specific videos in the future so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys know when those videos are coming out but i love you guys and i appreciate you guys so so much so if you all like this video can you please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and press the notification bell so you guys know when my next video is out I appreciate you guys and I love you guys so so much all the love and support you guys have been giving me literally means the world to me and I cannot thank you guys enough I hope everybody 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 has an absolutely 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 amazing day keep being great keep being original keep being true to being you I love you I appreciate you and I cannot wait to see you tomorrow bye